All right, cool. So uh, Jason Smith, 38 currently, will be 39 years old at the games. This will be my fourth time going to the CrossFit Games, and um, yeah, excited to be going. I started in 2008. Uh, actually, got introduced by my brother, um, and then yeah, just from there I got hooked. I um, I was always involved with the gym, so the normal global gyms. But yeah, from the day I started CrossFit was the day I cancelled my gym membership. And yeah, I just love the the whole aspect of CrossFit and the competitiveness and everything, which was really in my wheelhouse. So yeah, it was uh, from the get go. I just loved the sport. In 2008, I think there were only about maybe four, three or four CrossFit boxes. Um, it was very new. And then I think it only started really taking off in about 2010. A lot of affiliates started uh, affiliating with CrossFit, and then obviously when the when the regional started in 2011, there was a lot a lot bigger bigger um, pool of people that competed. So yeah, it was very new in South Africa in 2008. Um, I started competing from 2009. Uh, I've done all the regionals from 2011. And yeah, I eventually qualified for the CrossFit Games. First time was 2017. And the years I've been to the CrossFit Games was 2017, 2019, 21. And then this year will be my fourth. 2017, I finished in 10th. Well, I finished 11th, but then Ricky Garage had the whole situation and then bumped me up to 10th, which was great. So I've, I've always programmed for myself, um, always done my own programming. We've owned, uh, we open, opened up a CrossFit gym. We started in 2013, um, so we've been running that. But yeah, all the programming, everything, I do my own, I do myself. Um, I train with my brother and there's a few other guys in the gym, which um, I do programming for as well. So yeah, I've always done my own program. Always, I've always seen different aspects or different workouts from different programs um, that I've included into mine, but I've never followed one specific uh, program from someone else. It's always been my own, my own stuff. By the time I'd gone to the CrossFit Games in 2017, I had done it for 10 years already. So, and I always had, I had a good base or background from training at gym. I did a lot of sports, race motocross, um, played a lot of soccer, some rugby at school. So I had a good uh, fitness and strength background when I started. But um, obviously when, when training and stuff, I always obviously watched the CrossFit Games. I saw the workouts and always tried to include that into my training. And I think from doing that, it actually made me better at the CrossFit Games when I eventually went there. Because it is always the workouts I always used to take CrossFit Games workouts and include them into my training. Um, which I think at the end of the day helped me when I eventually went there in 2017. You know, the last couple of years I've been a bit injured. Um, I've had a bit of a back injury the last couple of years, which has set me back. But yeah, the maintenance, you know, I, I try not to do two crazy things all the time. Heavy weightlifting, I've, I've kind of backed off a little bit at the moment. Trying to focus more on fitness rather than uh, strength. I think I've got a good background with the strength already, um, or good base, should I say. So I'm not trying to get stronger, um, but for me at the moment, it's just maintaining the fitness and then looking after the body at the same time. Yes, yeah. So I, I was actually I was actually undecided the whole time whether I was going to go individual or masters. Um, and then when the Masters came out, the qualifiers, quarterfinals, I thought I would um, try and follow that route all the way to the games. I saw Rich Froning was doing the quarterfinals as well. So I thought this would be a nice opportunity to compete against him at the games, which I found out later afterwards. He declined the invite and he's not doing it. But anyway, during the qualifiers, I thought I would uh, give it... Give it uh, a good run and try and qualify for the games as a master but during one of the workouts um, I think it was workout one with the box jumps 
um, and the GHDs and the handstand push-ups, they gave me a major penalty on the box jumps, which I didn't think was... It wasn't valid for a major penalty. I thought maybe a minor penalty. So I sent my um, my email to them and just said, you know, can can you not just relook at the video? Like maybe reduce it to a, a minor penalty. <clears throat> and they said no, it's going to stand as a major penalty. And with that major penalty, it just knocked me out of qualifying spot for um, to go to the next level. So yeah, I think I had to come top thirty. And it pushed me out to, I think it was 60th or something. So, yeah, it was, and then that's, yeah, that's when it ended. That was in 2021. Yeah. Um, it was after the CrossFit Games. You went uh, to the Rogan Invitational. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. A very nice event. It was a little bit difficult. I was, um, yeah, trying to nurse a back injury that I hadn't really been training, you know, with. Um, but yeah, I just I had the opportunity to go and uh, just took it and, and basically went, you know, to compete. I mean, I didn't really do well. I think I finished last, but um, yeah, it is what it is. So I'm hoping this year maybe we get another invite and then uh, can compete a little bit better. Yes, in Dubai, yeah. I think, geez, I think the last one I went to was 2019, a long time ago. It's um, probably one of my favorites out of the year. Aside from the games, I mean, obviously the games is quite a big, uh, a big event with all the top athletes. But Dubai is probably one of my favourites. They um, they do all very different workouts, which is quite nice. You know, they they've got the desert events which they run. Um, they got the the beach events which they do. So yeah, it's a very nice different workouts that they throw in, and the programming is very cool. Very nice place as well. And people and the organizers very well run. Yeah, the thing is that um, that experience gets you a long way. Um, you know, you can't you can't just come into the sport. You think you're fit, you think you're strong, and then compete for the first time and make it to the games, and then expect to do well at the games. It's um, I think experience plays a, a big role in CrossFit. Um, so I think you know you got to kind of expect to be in it for the long haul. It's not something that's going to be, you know, a few years and then you're done. It's going to be a lot of training leading up to competitions. And when you eventually do compete um, or make it to the competitions, if you qualify, um, it's, it's, a, it's always a learning experience. You know, whether you make it to the games for the first time or... Um, or even semi-finals, it's, it's always going to be a learning experience. And that's that's obviously something that I've uh, taken over the years of my competition or competing um, that I think I do pretty well because it's been so many years. Yeah, there's a, there's a few guys that are that are that um, that I think can be quite good. Um, you know, but like I said, it's the experience that's going to play, you know, come into play in the next couple of years. So... Um, I'm hoping that uh, someone that does take over from me, I, I don't think I'm going to be competing next year, especially in the individuals. Um, you know, I'm hoping that someone that does make it to the games um, just obviously has that bit of experience behind them and can put it uh, put it to the to the guys overseas. So we don't, um, you know, you don't want to represent Africa or South Africa and then you know you're coming last or whatever. So. Yeah, they better, you know, kind of prepare themselves and, uh, yeah, hopefully they, they learn from their mistakes and experiences. Um, I'm not sure, maybe team, maybe masters, we'll see how it goes. Um, I haven't really made a decision yet, but, uh, yeah, we'll see how the body and everything's feeling next year, how we can go. Yeah, I think, um, you know, in the next couple of weeks, I'm just going to just look after the body and maintain the fitness, try and pick up the strength a little bit in the next couple of weeks. Um, and then I've got still got a bit of time. So I think, um, yeah, I think I've got eight weeks. So we'll just maintain the next couple of weeks. And then um, I'll probably pick up the intensity in July because we've got about three, four weeks in July before the competition so that I'll uh, start pushing quite hard next month but for now it's just a little bit of maintenance and picking up the strength 
Um, not in South Africa, no. Um, I think for now or for the rest of the year, I'll just concentrate on the games and then hopefully uh, Rogue's Invitational and then see what happens after that. Hopefully Dubai can happen again this year for me. I'd, uh, I'd look forward to, to competing there again. Awesome, Alex. Thank you very much, man. Thanks for having me, man. Really appreciate it. Cheers, bro. Cheers, man.